Rinsing with spring water allows for cultivation of a diversity of local indigenous airborne bacteria to settle attracted to the starch or sugar in the rice rinse. This rice rinse will set out of direct sunlight covered in a permeable lid for approximately three to five days, depending on conditions. Attuning one's nose to the sweetness and slight sour of lab or lactoacid bacteria by smelling this rice wash daily will allow you to hone your skills at harvesting at just the right time. Because conditions such as humidity and temperature and locality define the condition of culture within this method, becoming a practice lab maker is essential. It truly is a good time to be a lab. This is uh, a time for its friendliness to be discovered and uh, down the rabbit hole we go. Lab is an aerotolerant anaerobic bacteria. It's found in milk and decomposing plants. It's used abundantly in fermentations. It's a major player in our own biome. And as with our plant cousins, it helps us metabolize our nutrients and maintain a healthy immune system. So let's make some lab. What you'll need, milk, jar, and your inoculated rice water. Now it's important your choice is in milk. You can use organic, you can use any kind of milk. If you want more of the lab solution, choose a milk that's low in fat. If you wanna use the fat and what's left over from making the lab into cheeses, then use as high a quality of milk as you choose. Pour your inoculated rice water into your larger jar first, so pouring the milk has the action of stirring. Pour at 1 to 10 ratio. Using your hand in measuring helps you to develop the hand-eye coordination to achieve consistency in future intuitive measuring. Using a one-third air space is a principle applied to light ferments and inoculations within KNF or Korean natural farming. You are, in essence, creating a microclimate of proportional humidity and temperature conducive to the reproduction of your inoculations and the extraction capacity of your light ferments. A clear separation between curd and whey indicates a good collection. Test with your nose that the aroma is still evocative of living organisms, in this case tart or slightly acidic with floral overtones. Each collection will vary slightly according to place, time, and conditions, and inherent diversity within your environment. Scrape any discolored surface off the top of the curd and gently break it up with either a spatula or a slotted spoon for lifting out of the jar.
Lab is effective in making big sized fruits and leaves. If you use too much, sweetness will drop. So in the case of fruit, use less lab in the later stages and add WCA at one to 1,000 and SW at one to 30. WCA is water soluble calcium and SW is seawater. Both are KNF applications. And if you'd like to know more, visit our website. See me on Instagram at Lala Grows and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So here at Lala, we use about a quarter teaspoon minimum twice a day, but remember it's also in our foods. We use about a cup in our baths. Uh, we use it to clean clothes, clean floors. So really, um, you know, play, just play. Join us in April for the next video release. We're going to be talking about Lala's balls, Bokashi balls. We're coining them Lab Fabby or Lab Fabulous. Visit our website. Let us know what you're up to. Maybe we can help you amplify. See you here.